Hi and welcome back to Lightscribe.tv. In this third of the series I want to cover the remaining component for Lightscribe, namely Lightscribe software. Now Lightscribe software comes, well, in two parts. First of all, the system software. Now this is something that you don't need for other things. If you buy um, an application for something, you buy the application to do the job that you bought it for. For instance, if you bought Photoshop, you don't need something other than Photoshop to make Photoshop work. But with Lightscribe, here's the difference. For Lightscribe labeling software, to communicate with the Lightscribe drive, you need an intermediary. In this case, Lightscribe system software. So the, the two parts you need for Lightscribe are system software and labeling software. I'll discuss a little bit more about the system software in a minute. Labeling software can be free and on my site um, lightscribesoftware.org you can download perfectly free the system software and the two free applications the simple labeler and the Lightscribe template labeler. Now if you find, as many people do, that um, there are the limitations of these softwares are um, too much for you, then you need to buy premium software. Now I sell on my site my Lightscribe toolbox. Now the difference between the software in here and for instance the template labeler the template labeler, well, if I go back one stage, the simple labeler will allow you to put text on a disk. The template labeler will allow you to use numerous templates, um, but they are fixed. You can put um, text in the fields that are there, and you can change the images to the ones you want. But the overall look of the disk is fixed to the template. With the Lightscribe toolbox, the software will allow you to put text, images, any way you like on the disk, completely um, at your discretion, and to build up the label exactly as you want. In fact, as you, if you can think of the design, you can design it with this software. So, going back to the system software. When you first install the system software, you, you have um, um, an icon, sometimes it appears on the desktop, sometimes it doesn't, in which case you have to go and find it within the program files. But you find what's called the Lightscribe control panel. Now when you first open it, you'll get the screen on the left. And actually when you first open this, the um, where it says um, modify contrast settings, um, at first it will be the default um, not enhanced, you click the radio button and go OK so you have enhanced um, contrast settings. Basically what this means is um, it makes the contrast of label a bit darker. Um, it, this used to be in the well, I say good old days, in the days when Lightscribe was first um, put out by HP they used to have a separate utility to enhance the contrast but they built this in after a couple of years into the system software. You set it and forget it. Once you've done this, it's done. You don't have to think about it anymore. So that's the first thing you do when you open up the Lightscribe control panel. The next thing you need to do is go to the serve, uh, go to the system information tab, and make sure your Lightscribe drive appears as mine does here, um, in the available drives. If it does not, <laughs> Houston, we have a problem. Um, you have a problem now. There are ways to overcome this, there's ways to fix this, and in some cases you are stuck, there is nothing you can do. I always say to people, if you get to this situation, send me an email and I will talk through the various things you can do to um, rectify this problem. But let's assume for um, argument's sake that you've looked in this and your drive is there, then the labeling software, sorry, the system software has communicated with your drive, it's found out it's there, it recognizes it as a light scribe drive and you're good to go. So the next problem you may have is with Windows 10 or Windows 8.1. Now with these 
particularly the pro versions. It's not everybody, but some people cannot get the system software to install. If you can't get it to install and recognize your drive, then even if I talk you through some of the things you can do, if you can't, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work and there's nothing you can do about it. If you can get it to work, in other words, if it does install, there are things we can do with the labeling software because sometimes they won't install on Windows 10. But there are workarounds. In fact, on my um, site, um, lightscribe.tv, I've got two videos explaining how to install the, the simple labeler and template labeler on both Windows 8.1 and Windows 10 if it won't install the normal way. So there's something we can do about that. But if you can't get the system software to install, you really are, well, you're unable to use Lightscribe. But let's hope that that's not your case. Uh, for most people, it isn't. So what do we need for Lightscribe? We need a Lightscribe enabled DVD drive, we need Lightscribe disks, and we need Lightscribe software. These three videos really have just been there to complement the first one of the overview of what's required for Lightscribe. I put these together simply because it's sometimes for people easier to watch a little video than to wade through some text. The text will be usually at the bottom um, of the videos, if I, uh, not on YouTube obviously, but on um, on my site, I will put a text version. So if you're not a someone who really wants to watch a video more than once to pick up a point, then the text is there. If you want any more um, information on Lightscribe, I cover lots of different things on my Lightscribe.tv website, and also um, all my videos are on my user um, channel, Lightscribe videos on YouTube. Thanks very much for watching and I hope this has helped you make your decision for whether you want to go forward with Lightscribe or not. I hope you do because I think it's an excellent way of labelling but I know I'm biased. Whatever your decision, thanks very much again. Bye for now.